tomorrow has come with DK. Now let's get into Bell Mission 2 rolling. This is Coercion. Kerrigan is compelled to travel to Belshir to find an artifact that will tell her secrets of the coming darkness. Was Belshir that Taldering plant? I, I forgot. Well, excuse me. Isha, greetings, brood mother. I am Isha, the Queen of Blaze created me to preserve her memories and to serve as her advisor. I will advise you as well. God, I hated her voice acting. We are presently on course for the jungle world of Belshir. It is a Protoss world. Expect them to resist us with all their might. Of course they'll resist us, Isha, but that hardly matters. Belshir is a special world to the Protoss. It's rich in terrazine, a gas that has strong effects on psionic abilities. The terrazine, however, is not what I'm interested in. It's kind of weird to see a Terran adjutant portrait in a Zerg mission briefing room. The Zelnaga were once on this world. There is a network of caves below the planet. Some of these caves lead to more terrazine, but one special cave leads to an artifact, a relic that will guide me to answers. How do you know this, my queen? I just do. I can feel it. What I don't know is which cave entrance will lead to the artifact and searching the entire tunnel system could take months. I won't wait months. I don't have time for months. Broodmother, you establish a hive cluster not too far from the primary Protoss encampments. One of the Protoss will know the cave I seek and they will tell me, one way or another. Once I have the location, we will move as quickly as possible and slaughter any Protoss foolish enough to stand in my way. And the briefing. And all of a sudden, there's a dash hyphen in the end of the briefing. Find the entrance to the cave network and establish a base. Alright, so the first mission wasn't too bad. Oh, I get to yes. control Kerrigan. What? The Queen of Blades? Here? Alert her brethren. Your brethren cannot help you now, Protoss. Where is the entrance to the artifacts, Cap? Tell me this, and I'll let you live. I'll tell you nothing, Deceiver. The Kala is my strength. As you wish, prepare to become one with your precious Kala. Like Phoenix! Okay, so we get Hunter Killers. Kind of weird how... Oh, oh boy, what's going on? My queen, when you take fatal damage, you deep tunnel back to the main high process. There you enter a chrysalis and mend your wounds. Take care, my queen. And for any warrior or structure atop your chrysalis's gestation site will be killed as you deep tunnel. Excellent, Aisha. Send me some additional hunter killers. At once, my queen. So, when does she respawn is the question. No timer? That Zealot didn't know, didn't know the location of the entrance, but he knew of one who knew. Just to the north of us, there is a Judicator Scholar studying a book. He'll have the answer first. Okay, so go there first. Good mother, prepare my forces and escort me to that room. Let's go have a little chat with the Scholar. I think the little overlord dropped there just now. This time, good mother, let's make sure a few of my hunter killers survive. I'll need them in the tunnel. Oh, okay. Can I bring Kerry into the force? At least two hunter Okay, so two hunter killers. Well, it's a good thing I salvaged two of them just now, earlier. I was wondering if they're supposed to die, because yes. Kerrigan does not take, does not get blown apart by one scarab. I'm more interested in the uh, force description of the Protoss, wonder what they're called. I have to wait for a bit. No, should I make some call? Yeah, I'll make some sunken callings. It's kind of weird seeing hunter killers in purple color. Usually you're kind of used to seeing bad hunter killers. Because of the original captain. But no, that's, that's whatever. That's because red uh, was actually Daggett's um, special brood, I believe, in the original campaign. And they kind of stuck with that red color for the heroes as far as Brood War was concerned. 
anyway, let's make another hatchery here. Let's, let's kind of close here. So, I noticed that her name is Sarah Kicking, not Infestor. It kind of fits more towards... Um... Starcraft 2, I guess. For I, I, I don't, I don't know why. Yes. I don't think people call Kerrigan um, infested Kerrigan in Starcraft 2. So I guess Sarah Kerrigan fits the narrative better. So let's get the Zergling speed. Cause Zergling, you'll, yes, you'll get a lot of minerals, so oh. might as well. So this is already. We're on the second map, and looks like there's a. Some heroes must survive. So the mission objectives also updated, which is good. Okay, so Protoss Scholar, which is orange. Good to know, good to know. And I'll start on the. Well, I, I want this drone to finish you know, returning the mineral. I want this drone to become an evolution chamber so that it can start, you know, mo mutating missile attacks for my hunter crew. And it looks like I already have drops, so does, does that, oh, and there's a bridge here too. I thought I had to like bypass wide and go, like loop the loop, but you know I might as well go right now then and get some answers. Uh, why not? Okay, let's get a missile. Some orange buildings here. Stir some units. Where's the scholar? I I hope the scholar is also. You must be the adjudicator scholar, Cherrigan. This is sacred ground, and you have no place here. My place is wherever I choose, Protoss. There's a cave on this world that holds a prize I see. You know where the entrance to the cave is. Tell me now. Look at that zealot on the left. Ah, you seek the artifact left behind by the Zelnava. Kerrigan, my adjudicator brethren, and I have come to study it and the other gifts left here by the wanderers from afar. You'll never reach it. Won't I? You just answered my question by telling me you're here to mainly study it. So the cavern entrance will be located right beside your main encampment, and the swarm has little to fear from free of scholars. The Judicator are under the protection of the warriors and fleets of the Auriga tribe, Queen of the Zerg. We'll scar you and your infestation from this world. You're welcome to give it your best shot, Protoss. It'll be fun to see how long your forces can hold out before I massacre you all. My life for our And the other. And of course the scholars of uh, good old regular Templar. Run Biatch. Oh, he's actually running away. Good mother. I want the Protoss ability to reinforce themselves. Quickly. Wipe out any unit to this thing structure they have here. Once that's done, I will take two hunter killers to the cave entrance with you. It's time to claim the artifact. Alright, so where's my... Right there? Oh, you used storm on me. Was that the adjudicator? Nope. Okay, so all that. Complete, complete, complete. Destroy all... So like, production facilities, basically. Which, I can do that. But first, I gotta be careful yes, of psionic stuff. I need to regenerate some of my units. Wow, it's like a psionic battle. Okay, let's have these bros regenerate. It's gonna take a while. What I need to be careful of is psionic storm and um leaders. The bane of all Zerg units. But well, it looks like I have full tech option already, so I can opt for Guardians and Devourers, but, but where's the fun in that, right guys? And I want to slowly like upgrade my unit, so there's that. Oh, for sure they call. I might need to replace that stuff, though. Okay. Alright, uh, that's fine. Let's make more servings for you know to act as a meat bag. In the meantime, I, I might need more colonies here though. My resource gathering rate is pretty good though. But the only problem is upgrade, so 
I get another evil chamber. Evil, evil, evolution chamber. I remember when I first pronounced uh, chamber, I pronounced it as chamber. That's just, you know, English being hard for me. English is my second language. So. But I consider English a lot easier than my first language. Anyway, let's start, keep upgrading. So one thing about the um, text that I noticed when Kirk and High Templar are talking, they didn't do the the transmission trigger. Whereas if a unit talks, it, there there be some kind of a blinking like green overlay when a unit talks with that transmission trigger, but it didn't happen. So I guess the map maker used like a like a display uh, text message with weight weight triggers. Uh, that's what I'm assuming. I'm pretty sure that's that's how the map maker did it. Because in order to use transmission trigger, you need to have a sound file as well. And since apparently there's no sound involved as far as the first mission senses and as far as what I'm experiencing right now with this mission, I guess the map maker um, didn't really know how to import, export, sound WAV files. It'll be a lot easier too if you know how to do that. But go check out my campaign tutorial if you want to use transmission. Pretty straightforward. Anyway, let's keep upgrading units. I wanna tell why. Obviously I have to I have to tell why because I have to straight next eye, gateways, stargates and all that. Which I will do. So, which is basically factories and StarCraft 1, um, like destroy all buildings type of map. Instead of all buildings, it's destroy all factories, which consists of those buildings that the uh, mission objectives mentioned. So, I'll do that. Let's get a Queen's Nest. Um, I feel like I might need to save this. I don't know if the if the AI uses um if the AI uses uh lurk uh not lurkers but dark templars. Well, I gotta be careful here. But I feel like I can attack right now. I'm not gonna bring Kirigan because she's still fragile from the attack that she received from the high templar. She's not even 50% health yet. So I'll leave her alone there. I'll have some hunter killers fight. So I guess the Blue Mother is the Garden? Was she always red and stuff like that too? I'm not entirely sure. I don't I don't really remember StarCraft 2 as much. No, no real fond memories of that game for some reason. Okay, let's try to salvage that hunter killer. I'll go back here. I just did a drop play on that to see that see this hunter killer just now. Anyway, let's stockpile some resources. Okay, Cherpus. I want to primarily focus on upgrading my hiders, because that's going to also upgrade my hunter killers. So everything's going smoothly right here. It wasn't too bad. It was just, it was just that one weaver that caused some kind of resistance. But... Okay, let's Leave my units down here. I might need to um I might need to leave the hunter killers here you know, and have these overlays kind of scout out like this. This one is where can just chip away at that pylon. Oh I tried to save that Zerg by throwing it, but it was too late. Our forces are under attack. How's that? Oh okay, yeah. okay. So where's my drone? There we go. That will do. Okay, let's get adrenal glands. I need more gas and get circles. Yeah, don't even let that reaver even have a chance, okay? And before I send these units to death, death, I wanna kind of see where the other structures are. I might need to scout the whole map. 
So I'll send the Zerglings like over here. Zerglings are just, you know, they're expendable, so it's fine. Just send them like that. Let's get a missile attack. Let's see, I might need more drones, so I'll pre-make some drones. I'm already losing resources this early. Actually, you know what? You go attack there. So I found one there. What is this? Uh, blockage. Hello. Uncover the fog of war. Bring the drones. Bring the drones. They're gonna exo they're gonna do an exodus here. Oh that's a hallucination. Okay. I was like, are they are they missing their attacks on my Zero just now? But they're hallucination. Alright, so I know that they're they're sending air units, so I might need to get a sport calling now. Might as well make one over here too. I feel like I'm just gonna stick with Hydralisian Zergling, like the good old combo. And I'm gonna still use these hunter killers here until I get some sort of basic defenses. I need the creep to be spread out more. And one thing I also want to mention about the transmission that I talked about earlier. Not transmission, but you know, the in-game text. I'll kind of format it better, like... Because you notice how it was... Like, it was an indented well or something. I I'll kind of follow Blizzard... How Blizzard campaign uh, uses, you know, their text pattern. Which is, like, you have, like, some kind of name, and then you... And then indent... Or so, so, you know, you know, like, just look at how Blizzard does it, and then, that's what I'm trying to say. But anyway, um, I guess it's time to upgrade my servants too. So, yeah, that's that. Let's make more defenses here. Did these hunter killers can go away now. But, you know, I mean... This is the map maker's first um first map, first campaign rather, so gotta give props to him. It's not really it's kind of hard at first to make your own, you know, custom campaign. You gotta get used to like triggers that you never touched before, but But once you keep, you know, pumping these stuff out, then it gets it's pretty it gets easier to do, and you want to explore more and more of what you can, you know, attempt to do. Oh, this stuff car is almost dying. And I noticed I didn't have a lurker aspect. I assume I had a lurker aspect of research because I had one lurker, but that was a mistake. Okay, that should do it. Let's see. I want to. Should I wait for upgrades? No, actually my missile 3 is not, you know what? And I already start with, uh, Overlord Drop. Do I have any other research? No, not no antenna though. I might as well get this, it's a waste of resources, but... Might as well since this is a custom campaign or whatnot. I'll make more Overlords here, rather. More Zergling, I wouldn't hurt. I might as well bring the the hero units. So this is like a blockage here, unless there is another entrance here. Nope. Let's actually scout with this little thing. Oh okay, okay. I hope there's no units inside there. There is okay. Well then, let's attack over there first. See the drop. Okay, where's Miss Kerrigan? No idea. How's up, great characters, please? Oh, there she is. She's like talking gossip with that one other hype uh, hunter killer. 
Oh, that looks great. I might. I guess I can get a fire. Why not? Can also take this. This wasn't very heavily defended. I want to see if I can go drop here. But I might. I might attack. Um. I don't know. What is it now? We'll see, we'll see. Just rally my units all the way there. I'll leave some units here just in case the AI starts to kind of expand again. So like, these three units should be enough. And I need new overlords because this one took some damage. So I'll put this overlord back. I noticed the AI st stopped using Cypher, which is good for me, but... I just gotta be careful not to have all my hunter killers dead, so... I'll leave these two. Actually, I'll put these two there. And I'll have Kerrigan also attack. I can also get Lurkers now. Any injured Hydralis, this one will do. It'll be nice if the Dozen can mor morph into Bings. But that's another story to tell. Alright, so let's see. Are we ready to attack? I'll wait for this lurker. I have to do that there. Alright, let's see. I think it's ready to. Um, I think it's time. Yes, celebrate. Yes, celebrate. Alright, let's be careful, Killian. Where's my lurker? He's dead already. More reinforcements. And uh, let's keep making Mutalus. I think I lost a Hunter Killer or two. Probably not. Doesn't matter. They destroyed the building. I'm listening. Alright, oh, okay, you don't. You know, you go back. I need more gas though. <clears throat> I like the base layout of the Procos. But I feel like this this mission is a bit easier than the previous one because we get these powerful heroes. Although we have to kind of you know have some of them alive, but you know it's still easy so we get like Seven of those, six of those. All forces are under attack. Let's just get a lot more zero, you know? But then again, if Orange um was able to use Sire's corner, I guess this would be exponentially harder. Something along that line. And I still need to worry about white. So what I'm gonna do is let's start making advancing over there. I might as well also expand, cause why not? And get overlords. Orange is completely gone. Okay, let's get that. Not that one lurker that I made, never had a chance. Look at this <coughs> high tempo, they're chilling. They must be high on us, uh, Terrorism, probably. How's upgrade? I never upgraded, huh? Oh, okay. So, let's see. Alright, so I need to destroy white now. Uh, mask for these ones. Let's just scout out. Yeah. 
I might as well bring them too. Oh no, the poor, poor overloads. Very well. All my units 3-3 three, three, except for Zerdos. What? Let's make our events. Oh, there's also an expand here. Hmm. Oh, be careful of the silent storm. On the next place to assault. Our forces are under attack. Sorry, you know what? These three can just chill there. We got these Templars. You know what, Kerrigan? And you two, just go kill those Templars. A mini map though. Oh Jesus. Well I need to destroy all this first though. Oh there's a ramp there. Okay. And here too. Okay. Alright, we, we clean those up. Bring the heroes here. Man, pretty nice map layout though. Let's see what the answer she's seeking. Destroy that. Alright, looking rad right here. So I guess this kind of already leads me to believe that the third mission is going to be on macro map. Where we start with Kerrigan and Hunter Killers. Excellent. Brood Mother, fortify our position and they'll follow us inside. I sense there are more Protoss waiting for us in the caves. And. Huh? Huh? It feels Protoss, but not like any Protoss I've sensed before. There's something else as well. Something familiar. Wonder what that means. Alright, that was the second map. Kalai Expedition. Zero reinforcements, which was, I think, one overload that dropped two hunter killers or something. Four hunter killers. Not too shab, not too shab. I'll conclude the final maps later tonight. So, look forward to that. DK signing off for now. <laughs>